Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Okay, today we're going to be driving through St. Andrew and we just turned left onto Upper Waterloo Road and we're going to be driving towards the plazas in on Constant Spring Road, basically towards Half a Tree. So this is Upper Waterloo Road. This side of the road has more residential buildings. You're going to see a lot of, um, I'm sorry, commercial buildings. That's all the ones we just passed. Now, this side now has more of the residential buildings. And where we passed, you saw the zinc fence. That is um, an apartment complex going up. On the right is a new complex that recently went up. Now, what, Upper Waterloo Road will eventually lead you to Waterloo Road, which takes you on to Trafalgar Road and into New Kingston. And it can also take you into the crossroads area. So this is a very popular road. It's one of the major roads in St. Andrew. So on the left is a Drumblair area. So if you're driving from Barbican, you can go through Drumblair and you'll end up at this intersection here. Okay, I th think at this intersection the road changes over to Waterloo Road. It's either this intersection or the one with the stoplight, but I think it's at that intersection we just came from. So we are now on Waterloo Road. No, I just looked at a sign. Okay, this is still Upper Waterloo Road. On the left is Annette Crescent and on the right is the Gore, Lee Gore Business Centre. But before, okay, on the right now is Mega Mart. So this is still Upper Waterloo Road. Before though, it was a Lee Gore business center that was Peppers, which was like a restaurant and bar. It was actually a very popular location. It's like an iconic landmark in Jamaica. Okay, on the right now is a new structure built a few years ago. It's a, it has a Fontana Pharmacy, it has a Starbucks, it has a Wendy's. Okay, at this intersection now we cross over onto Waterloo Road. So if we turn left, we take West King's House Road towards the back of King's House. If we turn right, we would take West King's House Road towards Constant Spring Road. Now where that Fontana Pharmacy is, that land used to be called the Cholera Cemetery. So probably a few hundred years ago, there was a cholera outbreak in the Kingston area and all the persons who died of cholera were buried over there. So for probably hundreds of years that land was not touched but um, recently they built that structure over there and it has the pharmacy, it has Starbucks, it has Wendy's, it has a few other offices. So it's like a plaza now. But that land just has the stigma of being the cholera cemetery. On the left is the Canadian Embassy and of course a lot of studies were done and it was approved and it was said the land was safe for the construction to go on because it was hundreds of years ago and that structure has been there for a couple of years now and there are no incidents. Okay, that top, okay on the right we're passing the Terra Nova Hotel and straight ahead now on the right you see that blue building or the building with the blue glass that's 20 south it's a new complex that was recently new recently built okay on the left is a very popular jerk chicken location through that gate it used to be jojo's it recently changed its name and um it still operates as a jerk chicken place, but I'm not sure what the new name is, but the old sign Jojo's Jerk Pit is still up. Maybe it's still, no, I think, I think it changed names. But it's a very popular jerk chicken place in Jamaica. And you off people, Jojo's was like another one of those iconic landmarks. So maybe that's why they have the sign up still. Because if you tell somebody you're going to XYG Jerk Center, they might not know where it is. But you just said it's at the same place as Jojo's then be like okay I know where that is 
So this intersection now, if we go straight, we stay on Waterloo, Waterloo Road and that will take us to the Devon House intersection. But we're going to turn right and go on to South Avenue. And South Avenue will take us out to Constant Spring Road and lead us into the plazas. So this building now, 20 South, it's like an apartment structure. A lot of apartments in it. It's a very modern building and it's very popular for Airbnb rentals. And Air, Airbnb does very well in Jamaica. Especially on like the North Coast where you can rent somewhere that has a beach or a villa kind of setting that's on a beach. But also in Kingston because this building 20 South is very close to New Kingston. And New Kingston is like the Jamaica on Wall Street. So you have a lot of persons flying in on business and need somewhere to stay. And as you can see, it's a very nice building. So a lot of persons rent it. And also coming up in a few weeks is Carnival, Jamaica Carnival. Very popular, popular, very popular event. Hundreds, if not thousands of people should come to Jamaica for it. Of course, I'm sure that all depends on COVID, but it was announced that Carnival was going to be held this year. But the COVID numbers have been going up slightly since the announcement. So not sure what's going to happen. The Carnival should be in June, which probably would be a few weeks away. June or July, somewhere around that time. So let's wait and see what happens. But during Carnival time, you're not going to find anywhere to rent in Jamaica. The hotels will be full, the Airbnbs will be all rented, so it would be a major economic boost for the country if they were able to have it. But as of today, there is no mention or indication that the carnival won't be held. Okay, now we're coming down to straight ahead at the light is the intersection with Constant Spring Road. Now Constant Spring Road, especially this section of Constant Spring Road, every structure is a plaza. Every structure. You have more plazas here than anywhere else in Jamaica. And the reason for that is halfway tree. Now halfway tree, okay, we take, when we get to the light, if we turn left, we'll take Constant Spring Road down to halfway tree. It's like a minute drive away. Now halfway tree is the busiest place in Jamaica. It has the largest bus park in Jamaica, a halfway tree transport center. And it's like the heart of the city. So you find a lot of plazas around it because it's estimated that 250,000 people a day pass through halfway tree. So any business place you put in that area, just based on the volume of uh, people that use the area, must do well. Now we have a formula to us what a successful plaza is in Jamaica. You need a brand name supermarket, a large supermarket. You need food stores like a KFC, Burger King. You need a, a restaurant to bring in the people and you need to build it in a popular location. Now the only exception to that rule is the plazas in Halfway Tree. They do extremely well. There are some of the top plazas in Jamaica, but they don't have, they follow their only one part of the formula, which is build the restaurant, build the plaza in an area, well, actually two parts of the formula, build the plaza in an area that has a lot of people and have the food restaurants in it. So you find that these plazas here, they don't have supermarkets in them, probably only one, has a supermarket in it but all the others are just based on location they do extremely well because of the volume of people that use the area and two they have the food restaurants so now we're going to turn left on constant spring road and head towards halfway tree so you can see the plazas on both sides so right now we're passing burger king beside it is courts and then you have Twin Gates on the right, and Twin Gates has the supermarket in it. Now on the left is a village, it has Wendy's in it, it has Chinese restaurants. 
Then on the left now we're going to name them. You have Mall Plaza next to it, which has a lot of restaurants. Then you have Tropical Plaza beside Mall. And Tropical Plaza was the number one plaza in Jamaica at one time. Now these plazas on the left don't have any supermarket. They just follow the formula of having the food places and build it in a location with a lot of people. Now on the right, you're coming up where you see the KFC sign, that's the Springs Plaza. And for those who don't live in Jamaica, KFC is the number one fast food restaurant in Jamaica. And then in the same plaza you have Mothers. So and straight ahead where you see that white arch, that's the halfway tree transport center. So the closer we get to that point is the busier the place gets. Alright guys, so this is these are the plazas in the halfway tree area. Straight ahead also is the pavilion plaza. Alright, so thanks for watching. Remember to like, share and subscribe. Have a good day.